everyone and welcome back to AzArt. So we are going to be diving into a series of videos over the next number of weeks and months covering games on PC Game Pass. Now the one we're going to be checking out today has a lot of stylistic fun to it and it's called The Procession to Calvary. Now if you have any interest in traditional art history, Monty Python, point and click adventure games, any of those things, this is the perfect match in heaven of all those things. What a great idea. This is basically a one-man studio team that's taking all these traditional paintings, taking different elements, appropriating them, and creating a new composition. And that's basically the artistry that's making up this game. There's a lot more to it than that, though. It's the animation and the dialogue and the pacing, and especially the music as well, that all goes together to really create this atmosphere and ambience. Now there's no silly voiceover dialogue you could, like you get in Monty Python, but if you've seen any of those old skits and, and animations, your mind will be filling in those voices for you. One thing I really enjoy is every single screen in the game has really cool classical music that goes along with the game and atmosphere and of course artwork. If you click on these guys and look at whoever's playing the music, which are always very creatively integrated into the backgrounds themselves, he'll actually say, you know, group of naked guys playing such and such or so and so. And it's just a really fun integration of the music into the game and you can applaud each and every one of them. The dialogue itself is really clever, really fun and really witty. And there's even some break in the fourth wall at certain times where the main artist will actually make fun of himself. And just for your own reference, this is not the first type of game that this gentleman has made. And again, I just think it's such a fun, novel idea and way of going about creating a game. So I talked about how there's this Monty Python-esque feeling to the animation. But when you're just walking around screen and doing regular animations, it has its own unique fun feel to it as well. It still feels within that realm, but it has a little bit smoother, but also has that fun, animated, whimsical, cartoony feel to it. The scenarios are really ridiculous and over the top, and that's absolutely the whole idea here. You're going to run into a lot of very classical looking figures, and in some cases they're going to be playing completely different roles than what they're used to. That may offend some. You're going to see Jesus portrayed in some different ways than they're used to, the Madonna, and other characters in there as well. But beyond that, it's the silly little interactions that really make you chuckle and laugh. And I don't want to get too far into those or show too many, even though I want to, because those are really some of the highlights of the game, and I don't want to spoil those all for you. You're going to see artwork, or rather I should say pieces of artwork, from a lot of really famous classic pieces of art. But again, the context and the unique scenarios that they're used really breathe new life and character into these pieces. One of the fun things is there's actually an interactive gallery that you can go to where all the artwork in the game where it was drawn from you can look at the original paintings it's just a really fun way to say hey here's the sources of where all these things came from and you can enjoy them and really observe and admire them but then also as you roam around the world you're going to see these guys and you'll know where they're being drawn from so it's a really really fun thing so again this is not a full review but this is just really one that i think if you guys are a fan of traditional point and click adventure games or again monty python-esque type animation or comedy or just traditional artwork, I think you guys are really, really going to like this. It does have a little bit of the pitfalls of traditional point-and-click adventure games. There are going to be times where, boy, this doesn't make a whole... I, what do I need to do next to progress? This is a little bit weird. I'm a little bit stuck. It's usually not that bad. I didn't get stuck overly often. But that's really part of the fun. And along the way, you're going to run into all kinds of hilarious dialogue and responses that you wouldn't see if you were just using a walkthrough and going through the answers directly. And I think you can tell I really, really enjoyed this game. Let me know if you guys check this out because of this hands-on impressions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this as much as I did, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next As Art.